In literature, movies, and modern culture, there's a phrase that goes, mine will be the last face you will see. It's used typically of a villain or a death row guard or other authority figure to indicate a threat of life for the hearer to be nearing the very end. When our lives are plagued with hardship and trouble that doesn't seem to end or have a resolution, we may be tempted to believe that trauma will be the last face that we will see. And certainly that could have been the temptation for Job. In one day, he tragically lost all his children to a terror attack and a natural disaster. He lost his wealth and all the employees of his company to a natural disaster. And then a day later, he was struck with severe sores from head to toe. Job's wife told him, are you still clinging to your integrity? Curse God and die. She obviously felt like trauma was all-powerful and was indeed the last face her husband would see. However, faith in Jesus Christ brings an entirely different reality to such an experience. Scripture is full of promises, hope, and healing for those in difficulties. Job placed his faith and hope in God. He refused to give in to the temptation to believe that trauma would be the last face he would see. In full confidence in God's promise of salvation, Job announced to those listening, Oh, that my words could be recorded. Oh, that they could be inscribed on a monument, carved with an iron chisel and filled with lead, engraved forever in the rock. But as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and He will stand upon the earth at last. And after my body has decayed, yet in my body I will see God. I will see Him for myself. Yes, I will see Him with my own eyes. Now, for all those whose lives have been redeemed by Jesus, trauma isn't the last face to see. It will be the face of Jesus. And the faces of all those whose lives have been rescued by His grace and mercy. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that even when our lives have been filled with a constant kind of trauma and a constant kind of hardship, that you're still here, that you walk with us and that you continue to guide us and you give to us a promise that through it all, the last face that we are going to see is the face of you and all those who believe in you. And that trauma and the hardship will give way. In fact, you remind us that one day we will see the full weight of glory will far outweigh that of anything we've gone through in this life. And so grant us that faith as we continue to trust you this week. In Jesus' name, amen.